To be honest, I could not wait for this ETF to go live this past March. I purchased 10 shares the first day this ETF hit the market. My goal is to own at least 100 shares in the near future. I am a space buff along with being a financial buff. I love to learn about everything space related. Just seeing what Elon Musk was able to do that NASA couldn't or was unwilling to do was amazing. If we wanted to send people and our supplies to the International Space Station, we had to hitch a ride with Russia. Today, we can leave from U.S. soil for a much cheaper price to the U.S. taxpayers. Not to mention helping a U.S.-based company grow and expand. Okay, it's time to inform you of our contest. We will pick a winner from our comment section for every 5,000 subscriber milestone. You must comment and be a subscriber to win. Any comment will do, but if you want to spice it up a bit, throw in the number 5,000 in your comment, or you can just comment 5,000. Each winner will win a $100 Amazon gift card. We will also announce the winner in the video following each 5,000 subscriber milestone. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into the settings and switch on notifications. Good luck! Now, let's get started! The space industry is set to take off. What used to be a monopolistic and bureaucratic industry is being upended by both rocket and satellite cost declines. There are just over 1,700 active satellites orbiting Earth today, but companies already have plans to launch almost 10 times that amount in the coming decade. Most people don't realize how much we already rely on space and satellite technology in our day-to-day -day lives. From GPS navigation to instant credit card authorization, to farmers optimizing the food we eat, to tracking every part of the supply chain, satellite data has become the invisible foundation of our daily lives. And the future will rely even more so on advanced space and satellite technology. Currently, only half the world's population is connected to the internet, and penetration rates are slowing. An aerospace solution could be the catalyst that brings the other half of the world online. Space Exploration and Innovation ETF, ticker symbol ARC-X, was created in 2021. Why invest in ARC-X? To gain exposure to space exploration, including orbital and suborbital aerospace, enabling technologies and beneficiaries of aerospace activities, such as agriculture, internet access, global positioning system, or GPS, construction, and imaging. Air taxis, drone deliveries, autonomous cars, and more will rely on space and satellite technology. As we grow increasingly reliant on these solutions, we will demand more reliable internet connectivity. Just a few years ago, people thought reusable rockets were impossible. Now they are routine. Space isn't just promising us life on Mars, it's improving life on Earth. So join us as we launch into new space. The ARC Space Exploration and Innovation ETF's fund investment objective is a long-term growth of capital. ARC-X is an actively managed exchange-traded fund that will invest under normal circumstances primarily, at least 80% of its assets, in domestic and foreign equity securities of companies that are engaged in the fund's investment theme of space exploration and innovation. The advisor defines space exploration as leading, enabling, or benefiting from technologically enabled products and or services that occur beyond the surface of the Earth. Orbital aerospace companies are companies that launch, make, service, or operate platforms in the orbital space, including satellites and launch vehicles. Suborbital aerospace companies are companies that launch, make, service, or operate platforms in the suborbital space but do not reach a velocity needed to remain in orbit around a planet. Enabling technologies companies are companies that develop technologies used by space exploration-related companies for successful value-add aerospace operations. These operations include artificial intelligence, robotics, 3D printing, materials, and energy storage. Aerospace beneficiary companies are companies whose operations stand to benefit from aerospace activities including agriculture, internet access, global positioning system or GPS, construction, imaging, drones, air taxis, and electric aviation vehicles. ARC-X's net assets equals $63 million, and its weighted average market cap 
is $161 billion. ARCX's top 10 holdings are 8.25% Trimble Inc. 6.58% The 3D Printing ETF. 5.51% Kratos Defense and Security. 5.1% L3 Harris Technologies Inc. 5.08% Iridium Communications Inc. 4.18% Lockheed Martin Corp. 4.03% Komatsu Limited. 3.85% Thales SA, 3.36% Boeing, and 3.11% Spirit Aerosystems. Each of these companies' business activities relates to space exploration and innovation. We have covered all of ARK Invest's other ETFs, so if you haven't already, please check them out next. Take care. Think about getting yourself a piece of the future and seriously consider investing in these disruptive technologies. ARK Invest appears to really know what they are doing if the past is any indicator. We have more ARK Invest ETF videos to come, so please make sure to like this video and subscribe today. This channel is not here to give financial advice. We are just here to open your eyes to any and all opportunities around you. Take care. If you're still here, thanks for making it this far in the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the links below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell as it will help out this channel a lot. Check out one or both of the videos listed here on this page. And as always, learn more, hustle on, and power through. Thank you, and see you all in just a few minutes.